don't you know about me? Around that time, I found out that my husband of just a year was leveraging my perfect, pretty, debt-free credit score to pay off his own debt. Now, you got to remember, yeah. this is well over 20 years ago. So there yeah. wasn't all the fun automatic notifications that we have now at our fingertips, oh. right? But he was us utilizing the community opportunity of our shared finances to pay off his student loans and and um that you know, Damn! <laughs> that's, that's, wait wait i just want like, hold on hold on i just want you to know some things you just can't power through we're gonna stop you because we gotta address some we gotta address some things so before you said um when you got married, you said, you know, in hindsight, you look back and said, maybe you, you shouldn't have gotten married so early. Was that one of the reasons that you feel that way? Because, you know, you feel like your husband wasn't in it um, for you as far as like loving you and being in a relationship yeah. with, you in it with you as a financial standpoint. You start seeing some of that writing on the wall, right? And yeah. how how the, how the heck do you know yourself at twenty three years old? Exactly. Really, I mean, so, so that's the, you, yeah, right, right. You think you know everything, right? As a young business person, or you know, in, in life, and I'm still learning today, twenty plus years later, about myself and you know all the life decisions of adulting, right? So, um, but you know, you start seeing some things, and there were some weird kind of fishy stuff happening and so one day i stayed home from work because i was sick i wasn't feeling good and i get a knock on the door and sure enough it's a trustee um, a courthouse serving us papers to foreclose on our home wow. so he had been taking you know our shared finances and i was a bit naive and i you wow. know um and and he was use he wasn't paying our mortgage he was paying off his debt he was using my credit score to open uh and my social to open credit cards and um, you know, and it was at that moment that I went down this really dark rabbit hole of recognizing yeah. what started to happen. And within less 24 hours, I had moved out um, and learned shortly thereafter that there was over a quarter million dollars of liability wow. uh, that he had racked up over uh, in time in my name. Right. And so um, wow. no time like the present when Disgusting. your life is just like, <sighs> right. Uh, I decided to quit my job. I said, mm. you know what? Like nothing's bad. And, and if you, if you will know me when I'm provided failing data, I turn shit around or in the cross statement there, but I don't like right. to fail. I don't like the yeah. feeling of people taking advantage of me. So, yeah. um, so I moved out and filed for divorce. Uh, and my parents, I, you know, I love my parents, but they said, this is the bed of which you have made. You will navigate this. You know, this is a responsible decision that you need. And so there was, um, Wow. a lack of support, you know, financially. And, and so nothing, nothing drives hustle like desperation of cash, right? When you're trying yeah. to yeah. start over your life. And um, I promise I'll get to the couch, the point of the couch here in a second. But no, okay. when you start over we'll in your life. Time. Yeah. So you know, I, I resigned and I put in my three weeks of notice and the best compliment I got on my last day, we were at um, a client event on my last day of, of full-time employment and my my boss came up to me and he said i'm really proud of you and one day you're going to rule the world and for mm. your employer to say that on your last day of work i was like yes it's a really genuine you know <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so a like, bow, 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 right <laughs>